98.9 FM in Irvine. And standing by to join me is Laura B. Whitmore, a veteran. Hello there. <laughs> Wait, I have to get my intro in. Sorry. A veteran marketer of the musical <laughs> instrument and audio industries and founder of the Women's International Music Network and the She Rocks Awards, which is coming up June 2nd. Yay. I can't wait. I uh, know. It's next week. Woo, it's I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, so here we are, 2022, past couple of years, we haven't been able to be in person. What does it feel like? We're finally going to be back. You know, it's interesting. I've been out in the world a little bit and you really appreciate it. You know, it's like the energy that you are you get from being around your tribe is it's hard to define, but when you feel it, you know, and, and this yeah. to me is like that. It's so much positive energy, so much inspiration. And I'm just really excited to see everybody and just give everybody a big hug. <laughs> I know, I know, because I remember I was at the last one, which is what, 20, 2020? 2020. Yeah, 2020. And it was an amazing event. How do you choose your honorees, by the way? Yeah, it's tricky. You know, we open it up for nominations on the site. So we do get a lot of submissions, uh, which is great. Gives us new ideas and new things to look at. Um, But we also, you know, search around, see who's doing something new, who's Mm -hmm. been in the industry for a long time. We do a lot of research, talk to a lot of people, um, reach out, you know, so it's a it's a mixed bag, but we try to make it uh, varied and, and meaningful to a lot of different people and just bring in a really diverse like group of ladies that are doing kick-ass things. So, <laughs> so let's talk about the kick-ass ladies. Because yeah. One of them is Meredith Brooks. Yes. And yes. It's the anniversary of her famous song, Bitch. And uh, you've got some other people in store. Yeah, I was so stoked that it lined up with the anniversary of for bitch because that's one of my personal <laughs> anthems I guess yes. so I'm really excited to honor her and she's really really excited to be there um we're also honoring Dion Warwick you know she's like such yeah. a veteran and like kudos to her for still being relevant and out in the world and, yes. and doing her thing yeah um we've got Yvette Young who is just this incredible guitarist and like a, such a cool person you know we, we were able to have a chat with her and just to hear her story and um right. how she like puts so much passion into her playing it's, it's really awesome uh, we've got Carmen Vandenberg from the band Bones UK and she mm-hmm. is she's also like this really special talent she's like this amazing kick-ass guitar player but she's also this creative like producer and I don't know she's this kind of soft-spoken individual who really like just projects like confidence and creativity it's amazing it's really cool um we have milk i don't know if you've heard of her she's a based artist and yeah you know she's all about female empowerment her song was the unofficial anthem of the women's march in 2017 and she's Mm -hmm. done many projects focus on uh, empowerment for women and other diverse groups and uh, an extremely centered person and, and very cool as well. Um, we have Lindsay Parker from Yahoo Entertainment and Sirius That's XM, right. who's actually hosted in hosted. the past. And then this year we're honoring her. So uh, she's she's on the other side of the carpet. That's great. Uh, this year. Um, we've got Sherry Chung, who is an amazing TV and film composer and, uh, you know, a real heavy hitter in that world and, and has been a groundbreaker um, in the TV realm. Um, we've got Leslie Gaston Bird, who ha- I don't know if you know who she is, but she's truly been an advocate for women and diversity in the audio right. space. And she actually ran the diversity committee for the Audio Engineering Society for many years. So, Outstanding. And she's, she's, um, she's awe-inspiring too. Um, we've got Ivana Manley, who is, runs Manley Labs, another uh, gear company, audio company right. in the musical instrument space. And she's been, she's been in the trenches <laughs> making that happen. Amazing. And uh, we have Carrie Julie, Fierro, right? Carrie Fierro yeah. from like the Girl Power Conference mm-hmm. and Julie Robbins from Earthquaker Devices. So we've got a 
like a really nice mix to a group of people. And then Lizzie Hale uh, from oh. Hailstorm and uh, Katie Darrell from Access TV are our co-hosts yes. this year. And we've got Command Sisters as our house band this year. So that's a, oh, that's a shift for them, which is really cool. And we've got Tennille Arts, a young Canadian country singer who's our opening act. Opening. So yep. lots of music, lots of inspiration, a great, like amazing dinner. We're in a new space this year at the ranch in Anaheim and uh, I'm just really looking forward to it it's going to be a great and exciting evening I'm going to hug everybody (laughs) (laughs) we have to I'm just warning you (laughs) yes I'm all I'm all good I got mine I'm all clear a clear bill of health so that's good I'll be hugging (laughs) now what is the cap on the venue is there a certain number of people that can come in yeah it's only like 275 so we're actually almost sold out there's just a few tickets left but if Mm -hmm. you want to be there there's uh tickets available at sherocksawards.com and you know whatever level you are I mean all the VIP tickets are gone but um you know you get the full dinner you get a gift amazing gift bag um you know you really get to be part of the experience and it's very intimate like you'll be in the same room with Lizzie and everybody else being honored you know a few feet away from you so it's pretty cool Lizzie blew my mind when I saw her perform live 2020 I was just like what a voice so I can't wait yeah. yeah she's just like the coolest person too yeah like I I'm I'm so thankful that she has you know offered to host and participate she hosted our virtual show last year right and we couldn't do it in person and yeah. she's just she's just awesome she's a great musician but she's just a great person too <laughs> yeah. are you um amazed maybe you're not amazed but when you get up and you think look every year you just amp it up with these events it's try (laughs) try i yeah i think you're planning don't you plan them pretty soon after you finish up another yeah it's this this cycle actually was really long because we originally were going to do it in january and then nam moved to june so we're like okay like we had to start over so we only had six months um to plan but yeah, I, I try to do something different each year. I don't want to be predictable. I try mm-hmm. to do some, some fun and exciting things and just to really keep the, the ebb and flow of the show, like to, to make it re- feel really good and have a great energy. So I'm, we're very thoughtful about how we put the whole evening together. Right. And I got to give kudos to Bonnie Galanter, my uh, director and co-producer, because she's She's really been amazing this year. It's been hard, you know, it's touring season, which we haven't had to deal with before. Right. So it's it's been a bigger challenge than usual. <laughs> Are you going to be performing at all? Me? No, not this year. No? no. I might be singing along on the side, okay. but not performing. Yeah. You know, one of these years, it would be kind of cool to have just like a live jam, like just get some people up there because... I mean, I play guitar. I'm not amazing, but it would be kind of fun to have like a live jam to some. Maybe we just need to like, you know, have another night where we just get together and that would be (laughs) good. Have the She Rocks Jam. I love that idea. She Rocks Jam. Let's talk about it. (laughs) Because there are people that are not at that level, but they're musical and and the whole, you know, camaraderie of women jamming. You know what I was going to talk to you about too is, you know, mental health is so prevalent in the conversation every day there's something posted. Um, I, and I feel very strongly that music has such power, positive power, you know, to help improve and boost mental health. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. I mean, I think so. It's interesting. Like if you, if you can find a way to turn off, turn off a part of your brain and, and really just allow yourself to, to get into that flow of creativity. Yeah. It, does feel like well I think it gives your life more meaning I mean that's one side of it but I also it's kind of like exercise right it gives you like a a relief from definitely like I don't know the tasks of life right um and and I personally also feel like especially like when I'm writing a song or if I record something and then I step back and look at it or listen I, I think like wow I created that from nothing and there's nothing like that feeling. It's really, right. it's really pretty amazing to think that like yesterday that didn't exist and now yes. it yes. does. And yeah. and I think, I just think it helps. I don't know. It helps align like 
meaning. <laughs> it really meaning does. Life, you know, it really does. Yeah. I mean, I think about, you know, would I want to sit down and, and watch something, a movie, unless it's really meaningful? Yes, but typically, no. I would rather go learn a Joe Satriani song. You know, even if it's a riff because he's so outstanding, even if it's pieces, mm -hmm. I feel so elevated and my mood just gets such yeah. a boost from that yeah. experience. And I know you I know think, that. Yeah, I think it's hard sometimes too, though. Like I've been working so much getting ready for this and, uh, you know, the, my day job, the company I work for at Positive Grid, it's, we're exhibiting at the NAMM show too. So it's a lot. Yeah. And it does definitely like drain your desire to be creative yes. when you're so um, embroiled right. in work. But I do think it's really important to make a space for that because I, I, I at least take a little time to garden. That's my that's good. <laughs> my one indulgence. I'm like, okay, I'll be, I'll put my hands in the dirt and be around my flowers. Oh, and, that's good. You know. Now, where are you calling in from? You're in Massachusetts? I am. I live near Cape Cod, Massachusetts now. Uh, I thought it was temporary, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half years later, right? So, um, yeah, here I am. It's it's the best time of year here, so I'm not. Oh, it's complaining. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I lived in Brookline for like twelve oh, years. Oh, yeah, I did down the street. Not down so the street, I know. Yeah. So, anything you'd like people to know about the event? You gave us a lot of information. I know it's going to be streaming for people who can't make. Yes. It. Yeah, if you can't make it, go up to sheroxawards.com. You can sign up to get a link to watch the live stream and we'll okay. be um, resharing it too. So if you can't be there okay. on June 2nd, if you can't watch it live, um, we'll have it available for people to watch after the fact. But if you can watch it live, it's oh. it's it's a thrilling evening. It's definitely. really fun. Yeah. And if you are in Anaheim, um, definitely come over. We'll have a red carpet. Well, I mean, it, it'll just be... An exciting evening so and there's going to be an auction right yeah we do a silent auction every year so um it just helps us fund our programs for the year it'll be going live at the end of this week i think um it's at 32 auctions.com slash sra 2022 and we'll have that okay. link on our site as well um and there's just so much great stuff that's been donated by our sponsors you know uh, guitars, gear, experiences, makeup, like all kinds of stuff at all different price levels. And you can get a really amazing deal. If you're looking for a guitar or if you're into like any gear related stuff, there's, there's some awesome stuff up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to check it out. You got to check it out. Cause it's, it's pretty cool. And yeah, so that that'll be going live and we will be using that to help fund our programs uh, throughout the year. That's amazing. And are you still looking for volunteers? I think we're all set with volunteers okay. now. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we're good, but we are uh, still looking for people who want to join us if you want to get a ticket. So, all right, good. Yeah. good. And I'll put all the information on the show blog. Um, well, I can't wait for this. And again, if people want more information, just go to sherocksawards.com. Uh, the full lineup is there and there are still tickets. So come on out. Yeah, thanks. 